Hi guys I'm Adipa Lakshan from My Choices YouTube channel. In this video series we are basically trying to cover up each and every Microsoft Excel tools and functions. So let's get started the introduction part. A spreadsheet is a computer equivalent of a paper largest sheet. It consists of a grid made from columns and rows. Microsoft Excel spreadsheet applications that helps to you manage data, create a visually persuasive charts and throat provoking graphs. Excel is supported by both Mac and PC platforms. Microsoft Excel can be used to balance a checkbook, create an expense report, build form URLs, and edit them. I am using Microsoft Excel 365 version to explain the tools and functions in this video. If you are using another version, please don't mind even the version is different from each other's, the main tools and functions in Excel are somewhat similar. This is the view screen when opening the Microsoft Excel. Let's create a new workbook. To create a new workbook click on new and then click on blank workbook. In a spreadsheet the column is defined as the vertical space that is going down the window. Letters are used to designate each column's location. There are 16,384 columns. The row is defined as the horizontal space that is going across the window. Numbers are used to designate each row's location. There are over 1 million rows in the singles sheet. The cell is defined as the space where a specified row and column intersect. Each cell is assigned a name according to its column letter and row number. These are called tabs. It is divided into several command tabs. The command types are home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review and view. On each tab, the actions are further grouped under group name. In many groups, a dialog box launcher is available allowing you to open dialog boxes with related options. Contextual tab, when the particular object such as a chart is selected an additional tab will appear in the ribbon. This is known as the contextual tab. Status bar, displays information such as the page count and word count. They can be customized to show more information or less information. The zoom slider. You can drag the slider to the left or right depending on if you want to increase or decrease the magnification. You can also use the minus tool or the plus tool to decrease or increase the magnification of the view. Ok, it is enough for today. On the next day, we will discuss about each and every tool and functions in home tab. If you think this video series is worth for you, please subscribe my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.